All right, everyone. So in today's video, I'm gonna be out on the jetty. I'm gonna try uh, just the anchovies today because I didn't get squid. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I don't have a hat on as usual. And I might be a little red, but that's because I was just working out while well, playing basketball. I guess I consider that as workout. But yeah, so we're gonna try it out. It's uh, around six o'clock, almost 6.30. But um, yeah, so let's try it out before it gets dark. And I'll see you guys out there. the anchovies we're using. I've had them for a while, so I figured I'd use them today and I'll probably get rid of them after this. Because they've been stinking. So yep, gonna get these on these uh, little red hooks. If you guys watched that video where I caught those three fish, with the same hooks, baby. Just gonna, I don't know exactly how to hook these on there. Without making them fall off. Well, not making them, but having them fall off. Well, yeah, so here's. Yeah, this hook is hella bent. Should have checked these hooks before I went out. Hopefully that stays on. That's probably a better hook set than this. So I'll just do that. Double hook it through the gills. Should be good. I got gloves. For some reason, I can uh, I can touch squid all day, bare hands. But I will not touch like fish like this. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So we're out on the jetty. Really close to the um. To the way to go in. Figured I'd try a different spot. Yeah, we've got the Marathon Ice Centennial combo. You can get this at Dick's for $25. Oh, get that off. I don't know if you guys can see, but the water's like really brown again. I don't know what that is, but anyhow. That's how it was when we caught all the fish too, so. At least there's no waves to get me all wet today. Yeah, so we can get. I feel like there's something by the line. Yeah, it's real dirty, man. I gotta clean this up a bit. This doesn't really matter how dirty your reel is, but I like to keep my stuff nice. Even though it was only $25, but still. When I was first walking up, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I thought that was a bunch of crabs in the water. But it's like some plant, some of that ice plant or whatever it's called. If you guys uh, know anything about the jetty or like fishing on jetties or whatever, let me know like the what's the most amount of hooks you could have on. Because uh, there's some dude next to me that has like six hooks on his setup. I thought it was only at most two hooks, but could be wrong. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in this rod, clean up a bit. Marathon Saltwater Series. It's the Icentennial. That's centennial, I guess. It's a seven foot medium action. And then uh, it only has uh, one ball bearing in there, but it's really smooth. I think it's a good reel. Great uh, great deal for the price point. And if you guys watch the video, uh, I'll put the link in the description for that video. But uh, I was out at 24, number 24 on the Half Moon Bay Jetty. I caught a three fish, caught a skate, caught a bullhead, and then a croaker as well. Yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. It'll be at the top. If you guys want to go check that out, as well as my other videos, that'd be cool. And if you guys want, you got to subscribe. If you guys enjoy fishing content, beware, I'm not going to catch fish every time. 
but that's what we call it fishing, not catching. So, what can you do? Yeah, I'll keep it out. I like to switch my bait, keep it fresh. Like every 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes. But yeah, I'll check back in if I get a bite. All right, I'm gonna check my bait, <clears throat> make sure it's still on there. Yeah, this dude next to me is using that, uh, like the really small hooks and those uh, grass shrimp. I don't know, I just didn't have a lot of luck with the grass shrimp. Ooh, and the anchovies are not staying on. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna rebait it. Also, um, if you guys fish with anchovies, let me know like what kind of hooks you use and like what uh, how you keep it on the hook. So I usually use these. Uh, these are a little smaller than the other ones I use, but I always have a hard time keeping the keeping the bait on. It always seems to fall off. Yeah, so let's get the get the bait back on. And I also have a uh, two ounce weights. May use those. Just switch it up a little bit. Try different things. I usually use squid out here, which usually, I mean, that works for me. A lot of people say that, what is that? It looks like there was a fish head down there. Um, a lot of people say that the grass shrimp is good. Uh, they cut a lot of anchovies. This is the anchovies I'm using. It's the Sea Wave anchovies, wild caught. Yeah, I don't know. I never caught anything on anchovies before, I just wanted to give it a try. <clears throat> Maybe I'll use a little bit of the tail. I'll use the head. Man, no, appetizing. Okay. So I'll get this on there, then I'll get back to you when I catch, cast this out. Alright, the first anchovy on the bottom stayed on real good. The second one, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fall off. I know there's like uh, some thread you can use to, you know, tie it on the hook. I guess I could try that, but I don't think I'll be using anchovies that much. I'm mainly, I like using squid. That's my favorite bait. Yep. As I expected, top one fell off already as I was casting out. Yeah, we'll keep this one on there. And we'll try it out. Yeah, this uh, this weekend, I might be going to uh, Cory Lakes. It's in uh, Fremont, California, with my dad. But I'm still not sure <clears throat> if I'll be able to go. Because uh, if this job calls me, then you know, I have to work. So I won't be able to, but yeah, hopefully. I can at least get one more fishing trip in, like outside of Half Moon Bay, because I mean, I'll get off work and I can do fishing around here anytime. There's about four spots out here I can go, but it just gets kind of repetitive doing the same spots over and over again. But yeah, I'll uh, click back on when I get a bite. Feeling a bite. See if there's anything on there. Yeah, anchovies suck. They just do not stay on the hook, man. I don't know. This will probably be the last time I use anchovies. For obvious reasons, because this is no fun right here. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually. That was gonna be a lot worse. Why is there? There we go. I gotta cut off this excess. This way, this way you cut off the excess because it gets all tangled up in there. Yeah, the intro was not staying on. So I think I'm gonna. Uh, this is gonna be a really short video. I may try, I'll try one more. Even though it's probably gonna fall off. But I'm gonna go back to that, uh, the beach over there, probably early in the morning tomorrow. Like how I did in the, um, in the harbor video, where I went at five o'clock in the morning. 
I'll probably do the same thing. Yep. I'll bait it up one more time. I'll just throw this big hunk of hunk of fish on there. Just uh, do one. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know why this water got all brown again. I remember for like a few days it was nice and blue. Well, not, not like crazy blue. Like, um, what's it called? Ha um, Hawaii. Not about to say half Bay. But yeah, it was uh, pretty nice. Now it's chocolate milk again. Yo, see, maybe we'll freaking hook a crab down there. Who knows? Actually feeling a bite. Hopefully he didn't just knock my bait off. There's nothing on there. But I felt there's probably a crab going at it. Yeah, the water's been pretty calm. I don't know why, like a few weeks ago, it was like really, like huge waves. Ever since then, it's been really calm waters. Yeah, I'm thinking that crab would ever knock the bait off. But only time will tell. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys like the, um, like the night fishing videos, or do you like them during the day where there's better, uh, better lighting. So I'll do a lot more night videos if you guys want. I'm gonna reel it in slow. Yeah, he knocked the bait off. The anchovies suck. That's the conclusion of this video. It's just anchovies are terrible. I heard somebody, uh, I don't know what video it was, but maybe a few weeks ago, they said that they caught a lot of fish on anchovies out here. I don't know if they kept them frozen, which would probably be a better, that's probably what I'll do if I do it again. I'll just keep them frozen so it's harder, like they're harder, and the hooks will stick in. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one because the bait just keeps falling off. I don't want to bore you guys, just keep casting out and all that jumbo mumbo. But anyways, I'll do the outro in a second. Alright guys, got skunked, but it's cool with me. I took a um I took a day off recording. As you guys seen I didn't post a video yesterday. Or today. I don't know how that works, but anyway, so I didn't post a video for one day. Um Yeah, I just want to take a break, you know, going out every day and fishing and recording stuff. I did uh I counted it 57 straight videos. So I think that's pretty good for just starting out YouTube. Yeah, um, I really enjoy making videos. I'm not like all the other YouTubers that like, you know, they want to make this a career and do all that stuff. I don't really care if like, if I blow up, you know, make it big and fishing YouTube or whatever. I just really enjoy making these videos. Like, I just really enjoy fishing and, you know, making content. If people watch, that's cool. If they don't, honestly, I don't really care because I'm gonna make these videos regardless. If I had zero views, I would still make them because I just like making the videos, editing them and stuff. My favorite thing is to do is the thumbnails. Sometimes I may clickbait, but not often. Like that bass one, I understand. But yeah, I mean, it's really fun doing this stuff. I really enjoy it. I like you guys' uh, feedback too, when you guys comment. And, uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is when I'm, uh, you know, I mentioned like a, I say something like, uh, let's say the, what was it? I said the rage tail. It was a bucktail. I understand I'm gonna get some things wrong, you know, but thank you guys for correcting me. Um, I've been, I'll get it right in the future, but yeah, I'm like, um, I'm not a very experienced fisher, fisherman, I guess, not fisher. I just enjoy fishing, getting out there, just really relaxing, calming. You get to just be by yourself most of the time and just uh, clear your head and stuff. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends so they can watch it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.